News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Happening today, a former Mission CISD substitute teacher is expected to be in court later today. Edgar Hernandez was taken into federal custody this week. Authorities say he tried getting nude photos and videos from underage girls through social media. Officials with the district tell Channel 5 they don't believe any of their students are involved in any of the allegations that Hernandez is facing. New details on the arrest of a former Star County employee accused of human smuggling. The Star County DA says that Bernice Garza and two others allegedly used a county vehicle to drive migrants to the Houston area. One of the accused drivers told investigators that she's been smuggling undocumented migrants with Garza since June and that they've done it more than 40 times. The migrants allegedly paid $3,000 for the trip. Authorities are still investigating. This morning, a McAllen restaurant and bar is having to pay up. The U.S. Department of Labor says that the Oak Texas Bar didn't pay its staff accordingly. The feds say that at least 36 employees were not paid an hourly wage. They were reportedly told to work for tips only. Investigators also say that the restaurant didn't pay them overtime. So now Oak Texas Bar is having to pay up more than $250,000. And it's going to be a warm and humid Friday across the valley. Highs will reach the mid 80s under sunny skies. That's your News in 60. Have a great weekend. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.